You may have seen footage this past week of Unrecord. It's a new FPS game from a body cam perspective that's insanely realistic. But to some people, it crosses a dangerous line. Who wants to play a shooter this realistic, it just becomes uncomfortable. I've seen that take from a few people and I actually completely understand where that's coming from. Cause this looks like actual footage. The people you're shooting look like real people. It looks like a snuff film. Okay, so on April 19th, French game developer Alexander Spindler posted footage to Twitter of a game he'd been working on called Unrecord, along with a link to its Steam page. Since posting the video, it now has over 12 million views. And if you've seen just a second of it, you know exactly why that is. Shots fired! Shots fired! But before we talk about how some people might find this game dangerous, we need to talk about the fact that many doubted it was even real. People said it was scripted or an on rails game, and a few even suggested it was an animation. In response, Alexander posted footage of the game in his Unreal Engine 5 session. In it, he drops himself into two different spots on the map and lets off a few pistol rounds at random. Despite this, some people still think there's no real game here. Or at the very least, that this is only a proof of concept tech demo and won't reflect the actual game. Most people were citing the uncanny valley movement of the hands as one of their issues. I saw a few people on Twitter even suggest that this was some big brain move. They knew that people would say the game was fake, so they pre-recorded more clips to make it seem like they were just spontaneously dropping into the game. Now, as funny as that would be, I doubt it's the case, because as many of you probably remember, this isn't even the first time we've actually seen this game. Back in October of last year, Alexander posted a similar, albeit less polished, clip, which sparked similar reactions. On top of that, the maps that were used in the pieces of footage are assets that are available for purchase on the Unreal Marketplace. And a few people have shown off what that looks like, minus the whole body cam first person shooter aspect. When it comes to the almost exaggerated hand movements, the devs state that the game features unrestricted free aim. So my guess is that they've just been trying to show off that mechanic as much as possible. But even among those who accepted it was real, some felt the game was almost too real. And they posed a very simple question. Have we gone too far? If you just showed me that video as I was scrolling through Twitter, I'd 100% think I was on live leak. It, it really does look like you're just watching real footage of someone getting into a gunfight, but it's not. It is a game. As a result, there are some people who think that the ultra realism can have a negative effect on susceptible people and lead to negative consequences like real life violence which might sound familiar. For those that don't know, people have been using video games as a scapegoat for violence for a very, very long time, since the original Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. There's always been campaigns to try and push the blame onto violent video games in an effort to get them banned. And while violence in video games can alter one's mood or cause anxiety, there's never been any credible evidence to support the claim that violence in a video game leads to violence in real life. Regardless of that fact, many countries have banned certain video games over the years strictly based on their violence. And although it's become much more of a mood point recently, the conversation still pops up now and again, and it's usually associated to the game's level of realism, which is exactly what's going on right now with Unrecord. Hell, even Trainwrecks chimed in, suggesting that a game like this lends credibility to, quote, nonsense politicians have been spewing for years about video games conditioning young people. Now, Trainwrecks might not be the best arbiter for what content is suitable for children, and I don't personally think that the level of realism is going to be the difference maker in what conditions people. But later in his response, he alludes to what I think is the much more interesting conversation. Do we really need any of this? Like Unrecord, there are plenty of other violent video games that have caused controversy because they are extremely shocking. Modern Warfare 2's No Russian mission, where you kill civilians in an airport, is a great example. Many felt that the gameplay was too real, and even compared it to similar real-life events, which ultimately led to the question, was that necessary? The short answer is, not really. The mission was intended to shock people. I mean, it even came with a warning and the option to skip it altogether. During that time, terrorist attacks were a very hot button issue, and the mission touched directly on people's fears. And I think it's the same with Unrecord we've become all too familiar with graphic police body cam footage in recent years. Unrecord is attempting to tap into that shock and use that unfortunately familiar POV as the backbone of their game. Have they crossed a the line in doing that? Well, that's the question. To me, whether it's necessary or not hinges on what the studio's intent is. Under a subheading titled Pro Police or Anti Police, Studio Drama stated that the game has no bias and that audiences will have to trust the integrity of the studio to see what direction they go in. However, they also say that the game will avoid undesirable topics such as discrimination and racism, which is a very interesting statement. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like this is the first and only game to touch on themes like this. 
Hell, even Counter-Strike is a game that's about terrorists versus counter-terrorists. But at the same time, when I'm playing that game, I'm not thinking about killing terrorists or planting bombs. I'm thinking about my individual performance and my team winning. Will it be the same for Unrecord or is it too close to the bone? Now, to be fair, there are plenty of other very popular games that have a similar goal. Even narrative-driven games like The Last of Us features disturbingly realistic gore that is intended to be shocking. Hell, some people said that they would flat out never touch a game like this, but I was playing COD the other day and I mean, that game's pretty damn realistic too. Some of those takedowns feel like war crimes. Is the level of gore in a stealth takedown in The Last of Us or Modern Warfare 2 really necessary to the overall game? No, not really, but it is there nonetheless. And with a game like Unrecord, it seems like we're taking another step in the direction of ultra-realistic violence. But to be fair to them, there's clearly a market for it. So the studio's name is Drama. They haven't done any other game, to my knowledge. I'm curious if Drama was, I don't know, intended? That's a tongue-in-cheek name for the studio. Studio drama, causing drama.